So in this video, we will be showing off what we've been doing with our TV set-top boxes and integrating Theta into uh, smart TVs and TV set-top boxes. First of all, over here, we can see that there is a live Theta, live Sliver stream um, playing right now. This is on our uh, Sliver TV website on PC. Now we come over here and we have three TVs set up. Um, this first one is a Sony Smart TV, so it runs Android OS, Android TV OS. So we've been able to run our Android APK um, that is also streaming the same Sliver TV stream uh, directly on the TV itself. Next over here we have a Samsung TV. This Samsung TV um, is currently hooked up to the LG U Plus TV box. So uh, what's going on here is that LG U Plus sent us their TV set-top box. Um, from what I understand, it only allows uh, an Ethernet cable over here. Um, Wi-Fi has been uh, disabled for this device. And so we've connected it to the TV over here. And it's been running for a while, so you can see that there is seven peers, um, 32 megabytes of CDN traffic, and 76 megabytes uh, of traffic, video bandwidth from peers. Um, and we've relayed 25 megabytes to other peers in the Theta Mesh network that are also watching this stream. Over here, uh, this is a Hisense TV. Um, we've also been testing it out with this NVIDIA Shield TV box. Um, this one is not connected to Ethernet like that one is. It's just hooked up to Wi-Fi um, and the HDMI cable connects to the TV. So uh, all three, all four streams are all playing all at the same time concurrently. And so uh, this TV box has also um, been running for a while and uh, there is uh, a lot of peer traffic and peer offload as you can see. Uh, we've uh, been working on integrating into uh, Android TV and also into some Fire TV devices as well. Um, you can see that uh, in this UI it's still um, not uh, production ready, uh, but you can see on the right hand side that there are lots of uh, logs being outputted to um, help us convey um, in our demo what is actually going on. Thanks.